Did you know that the color from this leaf comes from compounds called pigments? There are three different types of pigments inside the leaf. The first and the most important one is the chlorophyll. The chlorophyll helps the plant produce sugars, which they use as food. And also oxygen, which is important for us for breathing. The second type is the carotenoid. The carotenoids give off orange juice. These can be seen mostly during the autumn when the chlorophyll is being broken down. The third type is the anthocyanin, the red pigment, which can be mostly seen during the autumn when the leaves produce it. So why are the leaves green when they also have orange pigments in them? Leaves are green because they have an abundance of chlorophyll, which blocks the yellow and orange juice coming from the carotenoids. But there's a way to see the different pigments of a leaf, a method called paper chromatography. There are a few things that you need to know. A liquid used in paper chromatography, usually water or rubbing alcohol, is called the mobile phase, which means that it's moving. A filter paper used is called the stationary phase, which means that it stays in one place. In paper chromatography, the pigments that you took out from the leaves will be together in a mixture, and these will be separated based on their characteristics. The pigments will be pulled by the mobile phase through the stationary phase. So the pigments will interact differently with the stationary phase. If they like the paper more, they will stick tighter to it and thus move slower. If they don't like it that much, then they will move faster and higher up. This will lead to the separation of the pigments. Now we will be going to the lab to show you how to perform paper chromatography. But you can also do this at home. But be sure that you have the supervision of an adult. This is what you need. Take a few leaves. We use spinach, but you can also use something else. A mortar pestle, a glass, a ruler, rubbing alcohol, but you can also use water. Some filter paper, such as coffee filter paper. A pipette, but instead you can use a cotton swab. Scissors, a pencil, and a marker. So, take the leaves and cut them into small pieces. The smaller the better. Then, take the pestle and grind the leaves, till it's mushy. Add a little bit of rubbing alcohol or water just to cover the leaves and mix it. Cut the filter paper into thin strips with flat ends. Take a ruler and mark a line 1 cm above the end of the filter paper. Do this with a pencil. Stick the filter paper to a stick or pencil and put it into a glass. If the ends of the filter paper touches the bottom, make it shorter and take a marker and mark the glass a little bit below the pencil line. Take the filter paper out of the glass and fill the glass with rubbing alcohol or water until the marked spot on the glass. Take a cotton swab and dip it into the grind mixture and put it on the pencil line of the filter paper. Put the filter paper back in the glass and make sure it touches the liquid. If it doesn't, take the filter paper out and add more rubbing alcohol or water. When the pigments are nicely separated, take the filter paper out and let it dry. And voila, you're finished! Now you can take a look at the results. When it dries, you can see that the bottom will have two shades of green, which are two different types of chlorophyll. And on the top, you can see a yellow color from a carotenoid called carotene. If you chose red leaves, you can also see anthocyanins, which you can see here on this picture.